colleagues. As you all know, in 2009, Congress passed H.R. 81, the Family and Community Water Safety Act. This stemmed from high and deadly levels of lead being found in drinking water in underserved communities all across this nation. Even worse, many of those communities sat in the middle of food deserts, so if folks didn't have access to transportation, they were forced to walk sometimes over a mile to get to the nearest grocery store so that they could purchase clean and safe drinking water for themselves and for their families. So naturally, when they heard their state and federal government officials say that there was no reason for concern as it related to lead in their drinking water, they chose to believe them. They chose to trust them. Consequently, 187 children died and 50 adults remain hospitalized and in critical condition. Amongst those dead children was my four-month-old daughter, Emma. That's the reason why I ran for Congress, and that's the very reason why I stand here before you today introducing H.R. 911, the Safe Water Accountability Act. Not only will this bill echo many of the same proposed amendments in H.R. 81, but it will hold state and local government officials accountable for exposing their constituents to lead contaminated water and for covering up reports that tell the truth about high and deadly levels of lead found in their drinking water. So I stand here before you today with high hopes of bipartisan support. And I ask that you stand with me in holding our appointed leaders accountable by voting for H.R. 911. And with that being said, I'd like to yield back the balance of my time to the gentleman from the great state of New York, Mr. Rangel. You have the floor.